The last category we want to talk about today is voice control. Uh, there's two different voice control options right now. Uh, that is Google Home um, and then Amazon Echo. Um, Amazon Echo comes in a variety of, of styles. Uh, this is the Echo Dot, nice and small and discreet. Um, you could put these everywhere. They're also fairly affordable. Uh, there's also taller ones that have Bluetooth speakers built into them, things like that. There's a lot of options. Uh, the Echo, uh, sorry, the Am uh, Google Home comes in a variety of options as well. This is the smaller version as well. But from a voice control perspective, um, in my opinion, the way to do it is to have these all throughout the house. Wherever it is that you want to be able to speak to the system and have things happen, you should have one of these within range. So I have three. I have one of these upstairs. Uh, in the main living area. I have one of these downstairs in the basement area and then I have one actually at my office. So and you can control that Yes. Your office. So because yeah. it's tied to my home system from the office I could say things like you know Alexa lock the front door. If I get a text message while I'm at the office saying the front door is left unlocked I don't have to go to my app and do that. I could literally just say Alexa lock the front door and she's gonna lock the front door of my house. That's amazing. Really cool yeah, stuff. Definitely. Um, the other nice thing about these is they, they are kind of an intercom system. So I can say Alexa drop into the downstairs Echo Dot and voila I'm now talking to the kids downstairs. Hey kids it's time to come up for dinner and things like that. But the real magic when integrated with this system are the controls that you can do with the different devices you have. So you could okay. say things like Alexa turn off my router. Alexa turn off the light. Turn off my front porch. Alexa lock the door. Alexa, arm the security system. Alexa, change my heater to, you know, 73 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all sorts of little things, just making it so that whether you're sitting on the couch or you're walking through the house, you don't want to pull up your app, you don't want to walk over to the touchscreen panel, uh, it's another option. And consumers are really looking for options. When you're talking to them about what they want, it's not, oh, well, I want voice control and she wants the app and we're different and that's just how we are. It's I want all of the above. I want the app when I'm away and not at home and I want to be able to use the app to check on Definitely. things. When I'm at home and sitting on the couch, I might want to use the, the voice control and say, hey, do this because I don't want to get off the couch. If I'm too far away from the voice control, maybe I'm in the bedroom, I'll use the app or a secondary panel. If I'm in the kitchen walking around and moving, it's almost easier for me to walk to the panel and interact with the panel than it is to ask for a command and ask for confirmation or pull out my app and log into it, things like that. So it's a variety of ways to interact and use the system and this just gives you that many more. Voice control is tremendously powerful and it's also going to become tremendously popular. Uh, the other great thing about this is many people already have these devices. So to be able to walk into a home or talk to someone in a, situ in a retail type situation and say, do you have an Echo Dot? Do you have a Google Home? Oh, well, we can unlock its full potential by allowing voice control with the system. You know, if you think about the things they're doing today, it's, you know, add something to my list, uh, set a timer for my, you know, cooking. Turn on or, music. Yeah, turn on music, things like that. There's a few things they can do, but now when you add in lighting control, thermostat control, door control, garage control, security control, all of these things into that, you're adding so many categories to that voice control device that it truly unlocks the, the real potential of the Amazon Echo or the Google Home uh, platform.